support uh, activate this uh, item here or this uh, tick box and uh, time zones will show up. Oh, if you have a, sl a slow computer you might want to turn off core animation here in the advanced tab. So the last feature which is just awesomely implemented in BusyCal is Google Calendar. Google Calendar is an awesome application or calendar application you might already be familiar with and you see here this is my email address from uh, my Google Calendar and I don't have set up any calendars here just my standard calendar which can't be deleted and now if you want to sync with my Google Calendar just go to Calendar, uh, connect with Google Calendar, enter your credentials here this will take some time because I'm very slow at typing. You can set to sync messages to pop-ups on Google or and you can even set if you don't want to publish any events which are older than three or uh, three months or one year. To accept everything just click OK. I've mistyped my password. Uh, then BusyCal will download all um, Google Calendar calendars to the local database and if you want to sync something now with Google Calendar you might want to say oh this is pretty awkward go to the website again create a calendar there and then go back to uh, BusyCal and import it there but it's in fact much easier you just click with the right mouse button and hit publish to Google Calendar and then it's being already uploaded to Google Calendar. And because it was so easy, we'll, we'll do this with a couple more uh, calendars. And you see here that BusyCal is now working. It's uploading all our iCal or BusyCal data to the website. And when I switch to the Google Calendar website, refresh the web page, you see all events are uh, appear appearing in the Google Calendar, Calendar, all the calendars are being displayed on the left hand side with their correct name and all the events are listed as well. So let me just quickly add, edit this event here by setting it to uh, start at 1445 and now when I want to have this uh, event show up in Google or in BusyCal, sorry, I just go to the menu bar and select sync now to force a sync and you see this uh, event is being updated in BusyCal. This was so easy and fun. I love it. Uh, okay, if you want this here, I have a subscribe calendar in Google Calendar, which is the UK holidays calendar. And if I want to have this synced as well, I will just activate the tick box here and it's being downloaded. And I can even import all the calendars which are just on Google Calendar as well. Now the advantage why this is great is because BusyCal keeps the local iCal database intact and just syncs locally the iCal calendars to Google Calendar and that's why this feature is so so powerful because it doesn't inflict with any sync uh, problems or doesn't make any sync problems with iTunes and your iPhone and all devices you might want or you might be using you just go to the website and boom okay as a conclusion i must admit BusyCal is an awesome application and i never thought i would be missing I features in iCal before i started using BusyCal. you see here just the fact that it's possible to have sticky notes even in BusyCal is just an amazing feature. This saves me running one application. And the weather for itself, I mean, I never figured I would be using the weather so much, but just, I mean, it's so easy. Just bring up BusyCal and I have the current weather around uh, for the next five days, for instance. Or any, And I can even set to display the moon phases as well, if someone wants to like it. So if we have again two free licenses to give away for you and if you want to win one of those just head over to our website and leave us a comment what you want to be BusyCal uh, be using for. Tell us what's your use for BusyCal and then you are, well then you can 
win one of three, sorry, two free licenses for BusyCal. Hope you had much fun watching this screencast again and I'm looking forward for your comments and see you next time. Bye. 